This is the third video in a series about different ways to store reusable content for use in automated document templates. In the last video, we saw that by saving pieces of content as separate Word documents, they can contain formatted text and graphics. But in some situations, the content you want to store consists only of text, and the formatting will be taken care of once it gets pulled into your document. Microsoft Excel is perfect for organizing this kind of text data. Here's an example where I have several legal disclaimer statements that can appear at the end of my document. I don't need all of the statements for every document, so I want to be able to pick and choose which ones to include. The text is stored in a regular Excel worksheet like this. In one column is a short title, and in the second column is the corresponding full paragraph. I prepare and update that file using Excel and save it into my content library. This approach takes advantage of the fact that Microsoft Office programs can talk to each other and in fact control each other directly, sort of behind the scenes, without the user needing to actually open that other program. Now I'm back to my Word toolbar. When I select this button, Word instantly reads in the content from that Excel worksheet I was just looking at and shows me the list of available paragraphs in a dialog box. When I click on a shortened description, I can read the full text below to make sure that's what I want. I pick as many as I need. When I'm ready, one click and the computer builds my notes section with only the paragraphs I chose numbered in order. I've added in a couple features here to give this maximum flexibility. If I need to make a change in one of the paragraphs for this document only, not a permanent change, I can make that change in the box here and save that. For example, I'll add the word training to this list of exclusions and insert that into my document. And there it is. But then next time I pull in the legal statements, the word training is no longer in there. If I wanted to make that change permanently, I'd just go out into Excel and change it there. Down here, I can even create a custom paragraph on the fly just for this document, if it's not something I think I'll ever need again. Any data that you would usually keep in a table format, such as a parts list or a contact list, lends itself really well to this Excel approach. In fact, you probably already keep that data in a spreadsheet. We can tie that into your Word or PowerPoint toolbar the same way we saw before. This proposal cover page, for example, has two drop-down boxes to pick the name of the proposal author and the name of the customer I'm sending it to. Here in this Excel file are the two worksheets where I maintain those lists. Each time I create a new document based on this template, Word goes out and grabs the Excel worksheet and loads those two lists into these drop-down controls. When I pick a name from the drop-down list, my macro fills in the rest of that person's contact details pulled from the spreadsheet. Now I'll do the same here for the customer. We can also make this work in both directions, so that if I have a new customer who's not already in the database, I can add that customer on the fly, right here in Word, without having to first go out and add it to the Excel sheet. Let's say my new customer is named David Duncan. As you can see, he's not in my database yet because I don't see his name here on the drop-down list. So I'll type in his name and contact information here. And then I can use this button to save that back into the Excel spreadsheet. So I can use it next time I write a proposal to Mr. Duncan. Let's open up the spreadsheet in Excel again. And there you can see David Duncan, who I just added. And now next time I'm in Word using my template, his name shows up on the drop-down list. And the cool thing is, all of this happens without me ever having to open Excel. So if your company uses Excel to store information that you need to be able to pull into your proposals or contracts or reports, we can program the Word toolbar to connect to that information directly so you can use it in your documents more easily. Keep in mind this can also include numerical data, such as part numbers and prices, and then we can have macros in Word that will calculate the totals right there in your document. There's so much we can do with this method. 
For example, say you create reports with a consistent format, but with technical or financial data that changes from one report to another. You can gather and organize that variable data into an Excel sheet. Then have the word toolbar go out and grab the data and insert it at the appropriate points into the report template. And if you use another Microsoft database program, such as Access or SQL Server, we can use this same method, just like I've shown with Excel. Be sure to watch the other videos in this series where I talk about different ways to store and retrieve reusable content for use in automated templates.